way back. You've got Alan Grysason out of position 13. And some big names to watch out for at the back. How about the reigning champ and pole sitter this weekend? Chris Walton will be using the bumpers. Paul, don't you worry about that. He's got Todd Hazelwood for company back there. Yeah, so Todd, Todd should just follow him through and let Chris, let Chris do all the work. Todd was uh, the quickest after the first session of qualifying, but has had absolutely no luck this weekend. And as a result, he's towards the back. We've got some on boards. Penride on board with Lee Nicolau in the Skyridge Shamrock Racing U. How about this one, Craig Dontis, the South Aussie driver, k and Filters on board, just car insurance all over that car with kit and car care products. The green flag at the back is the sign that we're ready to drop the hammer for the final time. The East Coast Bull Bars V8 Utes, they're on every round of the Pertec Enduro Cup. Fisher to the right, he shares the front row with Jared McLeod, two guys who are yet to win a round. Behind them, we've got a two-time champ and a Bathurst 24-hour winner as well in Nathan Pretty alongside him. Red lights on. Let's go racing at Sandown. Good Clouds start, McLeod. Rip a gear change and just launches into second gear. Comes across, covers him off. He should make it into turn one. Oh, Harris with a brief lockup. Just decided to start turning. Hickey it making it three wide. Marjoram on Getting the outside. Real early. And this might give him the inside sit for turn two. We ride on board with Niccolo. It's tight. Take some curb. He's got Jeremy Gray in there. Patience on the throttle. Marjoram on the outside is being hung out to dry here. Dontis, Not a good place to be. No, Dontis goes by. Walton's picked up a few already. Look at that. He's got five or six. Yeah, his elbows up, pressing on. Knows he's got to get on with this. Oh, man. Has Marjoram got a problem here. I think it's just a slow run. He's like spun up, coming off the curb. Just got no no launch down this straight. He may have also collected the wall at the exit there on turn four. So that might be the problem. He wants to hang around the outside. He's got a rookie in Grice next to him. They avoid making contact, but this is not working out nicely for Adam Marjoram, second in the points. And he looks like taking a hit right now because Harris, the points leader, is third. And Harris has just kept his nose clean all weekend, hasn't he? He's making up for uh, the lost points of Townsville as Grice. Backing it in, oh, and you're yeah. right. Marjoram's definitely wounded in the steering. What a shame. He's been perfect all year, avoiding drama as best he could. Fisher's going with McLeod. Battle will be on at the front here. Ryle Harris is a race three specialist. When the tyres get old, he comes to play. And that just plays into his hand. He's smooth. He knows how to look after the tyres. Oh. Marjoram's got nothing. Yeah, he's, he's got to come to the pit here. Oops. We're going to follow Richard Morkoff down there. Hazelwood's in the dust too. He's in denial about how wounded he is. He's just hoping it's going to come good, but it's not going to. He's going to need some treatment. He's got to think of his other fellow competitors here and just get out of their way. Oh. He's had a drive in the Erebus V8 at their ride days recently. Driving both Ash Walsh's and also uh, Will Davison's car. But now he's thinking about his championship that he's taking a hit. Vicious having to go here. He's not lying down. Now, McLeod, as we know, has a really bad tyre set for this race. And that is just making it an incredible scenario. Fish has got to run. Will he have a look? McLeod blocks him. <laughs> just covers the door. What a way to welcome Ram Lockman. Moves him over. Jared just moves him over a little bit. Onto the door. He's saying yep. he's got a new sponsor that he hopes will be with him for the whole season. This is a way you keep a sponsor, stick at the front. Oh, it certainly is. Get some TV time, get them some coverage, show you competitive, and people will follow you. He's got the whole pack following him now, because with those wounded tyres, it means that everyone's got more speed. Mediki up the inside. He's having a sniff. Just let Ryle know he's there, but Ryle won't react to that. And here comes Pretty. And eventually Marjoram. Yeah, it was inevitable called off the search party. Let's have a look at how this start went down. That's two from two from Maverick. Yeah. He had a great watch start Watch the yesterday. gear change. When Jared Dang. just nails that second gear, he just leaps. So spot on on the revs. Knows where the torque is. Does the gear change exactly where he needs it. Bit of smoke from the holidays for life entry. Now, Marjoram was on the outside there, and he tried to just hang tough, but unfortunately it didn't pay off. Oh, just blocked down a little bit there for Fisher. And spun it up, and a bad gear change. Hit the limiter. Pulled second, lost a lot of time. So keep an eye out for Marjoram on the outside of Key. Oh, that's we got the, the fence. fence there. Yeah, so that's got the fence there. So. Right. 
Oh, oh man, he's hit it all right. get him rude, but... Well, if you're going to hang on the outside, you run that risk. You run that risk. I would have driven him over there, and probably everyone else would, so... <laughs> you're brutally honest. <laughs> Hansford's done a great job fighting his way back. Remember, he was uh, at the back of the field in race one, so this has been a stirring drive from the son of a Bathurst winner. We're riding aboard with Lee Nicolo. It's his first event here at Sandown in the Utes. Shamek, a local team, famous for their karting exploits, but they've decided okay. to break away and uh, get into the Utes as well. Commercially, commercially, it's a good thing to get involved with. Oh. Get good TV coverage. You don't need huge budgets. Get Great a few mates here. together, get a few bucks, you can go race. So Cedars and Jane doing battle. The Mango Credit Ute through that area where we saw Marjorie find the fence. It's busy down there. Now this is for eighth and ninth spot and oh. tenth. And that's going to hurt. Wilson buys into this as well. Kim's going to lose a couple of spots. And Grice is going with Cam Wilson. Let's see how brave young Grice is up the top here. Jane comes off and just shuts him down. So they're all on top of each other. As we go across the top, Grice, side by side. We know that Walton never yields. And he's made some, made some space, hasn't he? Far out. You look where Hazelwood is, buried back in the pack. They both started together. A lock up from Hansford. But they all managed to get through there. They sorted that out quite nicely. Yeah, Walton's still coming. He's got a bit of an overlap here. Oh, Medici and Pretty. These guys were side by side down at Dandenong Road. Well, Pretty yeah. needs to get... If McLeod wins this race, Pretty has to get the second to win the round. So he's got some work to do. At the moment, he's on for third. Because it's standing... McLeod, Fisher, then Pretty on the podium. Side by side. 200 k's an hour. It's got it done here. 210, actually, at the line. Oops, pretty lights him up. Oh, and it's wounded that tie. He'll be lucky to get round there. He's going to lose a couple of spots. Now he's got to be defensive on Beachy. And he just comes over to cover him. So that's how they look at the moment. Your top four is McLeod, Fisher, Harris, and Pretty. Jared McLeod is on target to win his first ever Ute race. He's doing a very good job out front at the moment. Dontis ripping through the gears up the back straight. Marjoram's back out after that damage. He's back in 24th position. Here comes the leaders. Nothing in this. 0.3 of a second. It's less than that now. Ford taking advantage of the toe. So Marjoram had done all that work to close up in the championship. And right now he's looking like hemorrhaging 44 points. That's a big bleed. And Riles just sitting there. Knows he can points race now from here. Riding on board with Fisher. Oops, we've got Grice around. Grice, he's been tipped out. Oh, and he's bogged. This is going to be a, he's not a yellow there. here. No way, no how. Is he getting out of that one? He's down to the rotors. So this will surely bring out the safety car. Now, who are the winners and losers from that? Marjoram drops a lap, so it's not even going to put him on the back There's there. The yellows. Boards. There's our safety car boards, which is what caught Kim Jane out earlier on in the week. Man, that's buried. And this is something to think about for the Wilson Security Sandown 500 later. We've had a lot of cars getting bogged at Turn 9 and Turn 1. Uh, two very difficult corners to master this weekend, Paul, and that could be a total game-changer today in the V8 race. Well, it's going to be the thing to watch for. Cold tyres, pit stops, co-drivers getting in, not up to speed, and it's the left front tyre that you've got to get up to temperature, so it only goes, gets a little bit heated in one corner. You turn right, you turn three, and the rest... You don't get any load into the left-hand side of the car. Let's see what happens. He's probably going to get punted here. Yeah. Jeremy, Jeremy Gray. Gray just sort of gives him one. You can see the dent in the bonnet. But Grice, he was going defensive, mid-tracking it and braking oh. early. If you're, going to, if you're going to drive slow on someone, someone like Jeremy Gray, half a chance you're going to get lobbed. See? Grice, he's mid-tracking it, trying to block. Slows the speed down, and Jeremy's got nowhere to go except in the back of him. So if you're going to block someone, do it properly. I wonder if... Yeah, well, last Harris time last time Jerb was in this position at Darwin, he choked and lost the wind to Pitha, so he'll know. He'll know to, to get on with it. He's learnt from it. Let's see if he gets the jump. The field is with McLeod. And here they come to the green flag. Racing once again in the East Coast Bull Bars V8 Youth Series after that brief safety car period. And it's absolutely on with Walton in the background. He's fought his way through most of this field. Our leader is McLeod. And it's tight down there at turn one. 
Medic, he goes the long way around his Madstone Racing teammate. Fish had a look move. around the outside. No room there. Hard under brakes. McLeod deserves the win. He was leading for all of yesterday's race two on the same tyres that he has right now. And he got cruelly punted in the tailgate and it cost him. Yeah, so by Madiki, but his best ally right now is Madiki. If Madiki can range up at the back of Fisher, it'll take the pressure off McLeod. Look at this. Walton from the back. Storms past Cam Wilson. Now, Kim James lurking here. Can he sniff an opportunity to dive on through? Wilson's going to just roll it in there from the outside. Charlie Kovacs is going to get a penalty for overlapping on that restart just now. As Walton. Slide job. Use a bit of door. Push him up over the curb. Get the run. That's how you got to be aggressive. That's straight out of the youth playbook. But James Wilson will give try it back to him, with him Yeah, but there's no point. Oh, big lock up yeah. from Walton. And Wilson hangs on. Yeah, we're getting back again here. <laughs> we'll have to give him another one now. Cheeky bit of Gets movement on done. the exit. But all this has done is let Kim get by into it. So they slowed each other up for two or three corners with no result. This is why the safety car came out once again with Ben Grice copping a hit in the rear. He was trying to cover the inside. Jeremy Gray was with him. And around went Grice, stuck in the gravel. The safety car came out from Lee Nicolo's point of view, this one. Yes, yeah, sort of see there, he's a bit slow in, and by the time Gray reacts, he's already into the back of him. It looks a lot worse than it is. It's pretty similar to what happened to Craig Lowndes yesterday on Jack Perkins. So it can happen to the best of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at him slide out on old Yokohama tyres, trying to get some grip on the concrete and the kerbs. McLeod's got a bit of a breathing room here. That's how it looks. It's so tight at the top for the round. Whoever finishes higher between McLeod and Fisher gets to win their first ever round. That's pretty much the scenario. Fisher really oh, close look. to the tailgate this time. Has a look. He knows he's got to oh. rattle him. Fiji gets pushed wide. So Here comes Craig. He uh, was having Walton. such a good weekend into that point, Beachy. But he managed to pull it up quite Nathan nicely. Nathan going around the outside here. He'll have the line for the next corner. This is an old trick. If he can just jam it in here now, he's going to get it done. So around the outside, take the line off him. Oh, Donda's not going out quietly, though. No, but you have corner. the line for turn one. So he four corners before he is working on this move just shows <laughs> Nathan's experience. Done a lot of racing, always thinking ahead. How good is this? You could just about reach out and grab him at over 200 k's an hour. The former teammates from last year. Dontis, you're never going to go around there on the outside. Here comes Walton too. I guarantee you, if Walton gets back to the to the back target and Nathan Pretty, he's going to be hanging out of the fence. <laughs> That's basically what he said. Well, he's got three more cars <laughs> to get there. That's why he's just so aggressive. He just sees, <laughs> he's got sees Nathan up ahead and he wants to get to him. These two were into each other two years ago, both on the track and back in the pits face to face. Bit of niggle between Walton and Pretty. And Pretty's running for the hills at the moment. Yeah, well, his best bet's to get out of there because Walton was oh. fired up yesterday afternoon. Jane and Wilson all over each other. Oh, was that it getting involved? He's done a good job to fly back up. We're also hearing that this will be the last lap, so we're headed for a time certain finish. As Beachy ran wide on that one. And that was Walton sneaking through. So Walton's gone all the way to eighth here. What's he going to do? McLeod goes a little defensive. Last corner then. He's got one corner to go. He's just got to get it off here. And how good is this? He's done it with Ram Locksmith on board. Awesome job. Jared McLeod will break through for his second ever race win, but more importantly, his first round win. And don't you think he's happy about that one? He is. <laughs> <laughs> 